Hi, I'm Niels, and that's Sir Walter. Let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome to another video here on the Hard Life of Walter the Dog YouTube channel. And this is our first video here of a hike with Walter in Austria. So we are living in the little city of Wells. I will use um, the time here in a minute to explain a little bit and where we are exactly, what Wells looks like. But today we are going to go on a trip around our little airport and we'll take you along on that little journey. The first stop here, I don't have a lot of unfortunately good video, is actually a church. This is the Herz Jesus Kirche in Neustadt, a part of Wells. Um, there's Old Town and New Town, if you like. And this is Newtown, Neustadt. Herz Jesu Kirche is one of the Roman Catholic churches in town. There are quite a few of them. And this church was constructed in 1905 after it became clear that this new part of the city, Neustadt, was getting larger and larger with a much more significant population and therefore the need for a religious house of worship was important. When you stand in front of this church, you can really nicely tell, you get a little bit here of a sense, and I'll make another video at some point about the churches in town, of the more nicely looking rock work we have here. It's it's nicer, it looks better, it looks more in, in kind of newer and but other than that it's very nicely old style kept too. So it's it's sort of a nice mixture of old and new that we have there with that church. Uh, this yellow thing here on the side is a small religious shrine and there are a lot of those all throughout Austria. You can find them not necessarily at every street corner, but at many street corners as you drive through the countryside. It is incredible uh, how many of them they have. It's a really places for travelers, I think, to stop and kind of go on a little bit of worship. Um, so we're crossing over the street now. We're not quite yet at the airport. It is to our left here, uh, sorry, to our right here, to the west of us. It is a morning time, so there's not thankfully a lot of traffic here on the weekend. But what we have next to us right now is actually the Hessen Kaserne, where the Austrian army has stationed the Panzer Battalion 14. And this is a complex of about 60 buildings, um, 600 soldiers and civilians are working here. And it is the primary center for the logistical aspect of working on the tanks Leopard 2A4 as well as um, the mountain tank M88 that they have. And we had the great opportunity about a month after we moved here to actually tour the base. They had an open door day and you could go into the tanks, they displayed some, they displayed some of their other vehicles, they talked about like uh, communication, everything uh, was open. You could roam the ground. There was obviously military police everywhere to kind of make sure you didn't get into sensitive areas. And most amazingly too you could take pictures literally anywhere on on the base as well the only place where you couldn't was <laughs> ironically enough a tank by the german army that was visiting 
and they had a sign there that please don't take photographs. And of course, cynical mind that I have was kind of like, what's in this tank that posts in the Ukraine haven't shown us, you know, it's like, come on. <laughs> yeah, we have so many pictures from tanks and the interiors of tanks in the Ukrainian war currently that there's not much left. Um, okay, leaving that aside, we're now at what's called Grünbach. That is a little creek here on our side. Um, this is now a bit more of a green area. We're leaving, we're almost in the edge of town. And based on a map that I saw on all trails, we were supposed to be able to actually cross over this bridge and there was supposed to be a hiking trail on the other side. Well, as you can see, that hiking trail didn't exist. <laughs> that was just a military base on the other side. The map on all trails also indicated there were a few more crossing points where you could get over there and get to the trail. Again, none of them existed, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's uh, we, we kind of were hoping to get over there. It seemed like a nicer space to go, but unfortunately that was not not possible for us. So, we kind of got stuck on this side walking along the road, which we have walked now a few times because there's a little shopping area up there with a Hofer, which is the Austrian equivalent to an Aldi's. And every couple of weeks we walk up there to kind of see what Aldi has, Hofer has, and get some of the middle aisle stuff. So while we walk up here, let me take the opportunity to talk a little bit about this new home of ours. Grünbach here on the site will be with us as sort of a good illustration and kind of anchor. So Wells itself is a town in what's called Oberösterreich, Upper Austria, which is one of the provinces in Austria. We are about a 20 minute train ride, depending on which train you take, from Linz. And we're about uh, about an hour train ride from Salzburg. So we're, we're kind of not quite in the middle between them. And if you kind of think larger cities, Linz Wells area is about halfway between Vienna to the east and Munich to the west. We're not in the Alps, we're sort of in the Danube Valley, so we don't have big mountains next door, but we have them close by. Wells itself is a city of about 65 4,000 residents and that makes us actually the eighth largest city in Austria which is quite surprising I did not know that until we we moved here interestingly enough the city of L Wells is surrounded by the county of Wells and if you look license plates you can actually see the two like WL and WE are the two that we have here Wells itself dates back all the way into Roman times and I will have a video, actually two videos I think, uh, in a few weeks time of a Roman fest that they had in town where they kind of did some nice displays of Roman history and there's also a museum with some Roman history inside of it so yeah I will have that later. Oh here this is actually a great moment. This was one of, was supposed to be one of the crossing points. Uh, no crossing point here unfortunately. So that that did not work out for us. Yeah, so we, we date back to, to Roman past. Um, that's when the city was created. And I'll have another video at a later time. I haven't done it yet. The Roman video is done. I just need to edit it at some point. But we'll have another video also about sort of Second World War stuff because towards the end of the Second World War, Wells did get bombed especially the train station area quite extensively and um, you can kind of see both in both in Wells and Linz some of the scars that um, wartime destruction unfortunately brought to the cities. On the other hand also related to that there was a concentration camp nearby and we'll, we'll make a video about that one day of visiting First of all, the graves of those not too far from where we live in the cemetery of Wells and then we'll try and locate some stuff with regard to um, the concentration camp in the near nearby city of Gun Gunskirchen as well. 
So here we're now on the edge of the city. We're actually in a new town under Leiten. And our goal here was actually to find a little pond looking thing on the map. <laughs> Unfortunately that didn't turn out to to happen. And um, we kind of had to settle with with some other things that we'll see later. It is a pretty warm day by this point and the dogs are quite tired. You also do notice that our Georgia, which I made another video about, is not with us anymore at this point. So all of our excursion videos in Austria unfortunately do not involve her anymore. So we're, we're quite sad about that. These little towns are amazing. Obviously, for us, they weren't an option because we don't have a car at this stage yet. Having just moved, we're still kind of searching for work, financial stability in, in large regards, kind of finding something that's more full-time as time goes. And the car is currently a luxury item, so we're restricted a little to walking here and trains or buses. Um, but these little towns are amazing. The, the little houses they have, uh, many of them are kind of like one family or you can kind of tell there's two families, maybe grandparents and their and children living in it. Uh, like a lot of people having pools and sort of an, an interesting mix of like modern looking structures and old looking structures, old buildings with add-ons to them, um, like incredible what people have done with their homes. Um, the dogs hate it, <laughs> as you probably have noticed by this point, unfortunately. it It's very fenced in. There are no open lawn, uh, grassy front yards that we're familiar with from the United States that they liked in the United States, obviously. And, you know, it, it eliminates a lot of opportunities, especially for female dogs to, to pee. So here we are at the Greenbach again, and since again it was a warm late summer day, the dogs were like really happy to get a little water on them, get a little get a little bit to drink, and kind of really cool off here. The water was ice cold, like really cold. I actually stuck my feet in, uh, I'm not sure if we're actually going to get a good shot of it here. Uh, there's a ball that is next to one of these wares next to us there and my kid of course wanted that ball so I actually stuck my feet in, walked carefully over to it, didn't cut myself thankfully <laughs> on anything and got it but whoo! Uh, I like cold water for swimming but I do not like that cold water. That was really cold. You probably also notice a lot of cornfields here. The corn is mostly feed corn. It's not um, for eating purposes. Well, I am surprised. It's been 19 years that I've lived in the United States. So I haven't been in Germany and Austria for a long time. And I'm actually surprised there's corn on sale these days in the store. So it it's not a staple, obviously, like it's in the United States, but it's become more common in that regard here. Also sorry about the video. Um, at this stage I'm still learning a little bit of how to best film everything, so future videos will have much better angles, but some of the early videos here will be more of the dogs and the structures and houses surrounding us. And you know, I'm also still learning, so there are sometimes moments where my battery ran out and I didn't notice. So we are coming out now of Unterleiten, I think this would still be. Maybe it's Stadelhof. 
and we're going to take a small field road, country road, dirt road here. You see the balls that we found. And we are literally about to hit the fence of the airport here. The airport here is on the other side. The blue building that you see in front of us um, on the other side of the airport, that is our IKEA distribution center. That is one of the claims to fame for for Wells, that we have this distribution center in town. There is a number of distribution centers, actually Spa, which is a grocery store chain, has one, Intersport, which is a um, sports sports store, kind of like Academy in the United States, has a warehouse here as well. And there's a massive train yard as well, where the trains can pull in and unload cargo. Um, so we are actually extremely lucky here. Also in that there were a few planes that were intending to take off. So we actually took a few minutes here to to stop and to watch that take place. And I'll let us roll for a little bit with some Mozart playing a little louder now in the background to get you a sense. So we're making our way now, still with the airport on our right at this point, back into civilization if you like. This would be Oberhardt. It has a little town 
and from here we are in a minute gonna turn and then make our way literally towards the IKEA distribution center. It is incredible too. This is a very small village on the edge of, of Wells, but you have, even in these small villages, a lot of apartment buildings where multifamily um, housing exists. I have no clue what this, this place here next to us is. It's had chickens in it and the dogs, of course, loved it. Walter was like, let me go. I'll, I'll, get, us a I'll get us dinner. <laughs> Couldn't do that, of course. Um, so we are almost now at the IKEA distribution center and this is where I'm going to stop the video. Uh, it was hopefully some interesting stuff here to get to know our new home. The beautiful landscape that we're surrounded by. And we'll have more videos here to kind of get to know the immediate surroundings of Wells. We'll have some videos about history of other things we're doing. Some with Walter, some not with Walter. But I hope you kind of will enjoy this. And I'll probably make some videos as well about sort of our, our life and our transition. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the, in the next video.